Good morning. It is 8.39 a.m. on Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. I got there. This is, I'm Christiana Ellis, and I uh, sort of just got up. I've been poking around this morning. Um, this is five more minutes. So, I think part of the reason my schedule, I mean... I need to be more proactive at starting to try to have a more consistent routine. So there's that. But what I was about to do is blame Rocket for my uh, schedule being kind of wonky just because he's being kind of wonky. Not in a bad way, but just in terms of like, you know, not having a consistent routine. Which of course, like, that's, I mean, that's on me, right? Like if I were to enforce a more rigid routine then, of course, you know, it would be easier for him to do that. We would be on the same wavelength instead of misaligned. Um, uh, he was just a little restless this morning, which is part of why I didn't record the video before now. It's just because he was wanting to walk around on chew and, and chew on everything, which is, you know, he's just kind of in that phase. I went to the drugstore yesterday for a few needed supplies, and I'm kicking myself because I forgot to get more, uh, like, long-term chewer things for him. Oh, well. What I really ought to do is actually buy some of those things that he likes in, in bulk uh, from, like, Amazon or something instead of uh, going to the drugstore every time, you know, to get, you know, packs of two or three every time I need them. Anyway... Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, routines. I don't know. I feel like that's what I have to say about routines already. Uh, so, in other news, I watched Star Wars A New Hope last night. And the reason for that is because it is the next movie on the AFI Top 100 list that I am going through with Mike for watching 100 movies. And, of course, I've seen it many times before. Um, but uh, the... You know, just rewatching it again, you know, with this this eye of like evaluating its place in the top 100 really, really drives home a couple of things. And, you know, to be fair, this is not something this is not an opinion I didn't already hold. So I don't want to claim to have had some big revelation here, but it just really in this viewing drove home to me all the more how wrongheaded many of the changes in the enhanced edition were. Now, that said, some of them are just special effects tweaks that you might not even realize are there just because you don't remember what the shot looked like before. And a lot of those are, you know, the spaceships moving around during the dogfight and that sort of thing, just making those look more dynamic and everything. And honestly, I think a lot of that is pretty seamless, like it would be easy to miss if you're not paying attention that that's even different at all. And I think those changes are the best ones. But pretty much every time where he actually tried to add a scene or everything, it just feels off and it's frustrating. And that's even though, like, I haven't seen the theatrical cut for, pff, what? I mean, it has to have been, like, it's, it's, it's decades now, right, since that was available. Um, so it's not like I'm not very familiar with these added scenes. It's just that every time they just don't work. <sighs> I just realized I was being a nerd complaining about Star Wars on YouTube, which is allowed. I don't want to be too dismissive of that. I guess it's, it's, it's not that I'm dismissive as in it's something that shouldn't be done as much as I'm just realizing Lots of other people already do that. I'm being a dilettante about Star Wars complaining on YouTube. Anyway, um, it's... Uh, but that said, like, even though those extra scenes just really are uh, lesser, the rest of the movie, it's just so good. It's just amazing the depth of the world building, but how casually it's presented. Uh, the the storytelling archetypes in there. Oh, it's just so good. It's like, I, you know, I, I feel like I can watch that movie and see all over again why it became such a phenomenon. Anyway, 
I'm sure what you watch these videos for is to hear about why I like Star Wars. So, um, there you have it. I'm going to leave it there for right now, and I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.